Hi, in this video I'll show you how to convert a calendar table with data into a proper table. Let's say for example you get a calendar that has data in it. So we can see that in this particular table here it's situated like a calendar. We have Sunday to Saturday and this is for January 2018. So January 2018 the first day starts on Monday and you have a second row here that has data. Maybe it's quantity of sales and this is something that you might get and you want to turn into a proper table where we have a two column table with the dates in one column and the quantity in another column so you can do some analysis. You can't really do a lot of good analysis with something like this. So let's see how we can turn it into a two column table here. So I have this calendar table with data in this particular sheet and we're going to bring it in with Power Query. So with Power Query in Excel 2016 it is in the data tab and we're going to set select from tables. It's going to recognize that this range of data is a table and try to create a table. And it will say my table has headers. The first row are the headers we'll assume. Click OK and it's going to bring it into the query editor. Let's resize this a little bit here, bring it in. And what we need to do is we need to first transpose this particular uh, table. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to transpose this data. So go into transform and click transpose and it's going to have our data here and it's going to be in a pattern. You can see that it has a pattern here. We have dates, we have numbers, dates, numbers, dates, numbers. So it's kind of a nice pattern. And now we're going to put a helper column which is an index column. Go under add column and index column from zero. So we have our index column here and now we're going to unpivot the data. Select this column, right click and unpivot other columns. So we're going to unpivot the other columns, bring them into its own rows. And now when we've brought it into its own rows, you'll kind of notice that we have another pattern that we can work with now. We have this pattern where we have a date and a number, a date and a number. Instead of having it all separated into other columns, it's all in one column now. So that helps us out a lot now. All I need to do is keep this column, click this particular column, right click and remove other columns. Now I want to add another index column. Do the index column again. Click from 0 to 1. And now you're, we're going to see a pattern here. So we have a pattern here. Date, quantity, date, quantity. And we're going to add another helper column to help us with that. And it's going to be something called a Modelo column. And it shows up under, we're going to use Add Column, Under Standard, and Modelo. And it's going to be based on the second instance of our value. So we have date, column, date, and that's the second that's the second instance where we have that repeating pattern. So that's going to be the number two. Click OK. And now we have our repeating pattern. Zero, 01, which is date, column, date, quantity, another zero, 01, date, quantity, zero, 01. So we have those repeating columns. So now after creating this modello, I need to pivot this column. So I'll go under transform, go to pivot column, and we're going to pivot it based on the values column. And we don't want to do any calculations on this column. So instead of doing count, count, don't aggregate. So don't do any calculations. Click OK. And now we have our values here. So basically, we want to have it where this particular value, the date, and that number are on the same row. So one way I can do that is I can fill these down. You can notice that this fills down to here, and it will coincide with that row. So I'll click on that particular column, right click and select fill and fill down. And now we've got this particular row with the quantity, this particular row with the date with the quantity. And I can just remove the nulls here. So click on that filter and deselect null, click OK. And now I pretty much have my data, right? So I don't need this index column anymore. Right click, remove, and I can start to change the data types. So right now it's at any data type and I just want to have the date here. So I'll click on that data type icon and this is just, I just want a date. Here, these are numbers and I'll select number. So this will be a whole number. I'll probably need to give these a proper heading title. Double click there, call this date, double click that, double click that and just call this quantity. Oops, quantity. 
And it's also a good idea to sort this now. So I'll just sort this from ascending. So we have our dates from ascending. And go to home, close and load. And let's load it into, oh, it's going to load it into a different sheet. Let's change that. We want to load it into the sheet where I have it there. So I'm going to right click, go under load to. And I'll keep that because what Excel automatically defaults to is loading it as a table. You can see the table here. And I'm going to select actually a, oh, it doesn't let me select it. Let's change it to connection. And then I'll rechange it to table. Click continue. And then let's change it to, uh, let's right click, click load to. And once I click table here, now it's going to let me select it because I didn't select it earlier. So let's click existing worksheet. Let's go back to sheet one here. Whoops, let me click on this and go to sheet one. Let's put it over here. Click OK. Uh, existing worksheet and yeah, load. Let's see if it does it. Yep. So now I have my quantity, my date and my quantity, right? So I have 1 1 2018 to 8292. Let's check some of the other ones. 117 is 217. 117 is 217. Now the beauty of this is if we had additional data here, let's add some additional data. Let's say we went into February, all right, and let's put some data here. Let's just put 1000. Control enter to enter it into all the cells here. All I need to do is I, if I still have this workbook queries navigation icon, I can click that to refresh or I can go under data, refresh all, or just right here, right click, refresh, and they all refresh the refresh the data here, right? So if I scroll down here, you see 131. If I click on refresh all, it's going to go through that particular, all those steps there that were in Power Query. Let's, let me double click that. It'll go through all these steps here in this pane, and we will have our output. Let me close that. We have our output here, 21 to 23, 1000, right? Also, if we wanted to change that, let's put dates. Uh, let's put day of the week there. Let me right click go under edit and maybe we wanted to have day of the week there too. All we need to do is go under add column and since we selected that column go under date here and let's go day uh, name of day the day of the week right so that's on the Monday go to home close and load and now you see it's going through its loading process and the day name shows up there so Monday is the first of 2018 in January. So that's a neat way that if we get data like this in some kind of calendar format where we have a second row that has data and it's not really kind of a good way to do further analysis, we can pull it into a proper table format using Power Query and then we can do any further analysis on this. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.